Hello, hello. How's it going, folks? Hi, how's it going? How's my camera set up? Okay, like this. Hello! Can you guys see me and hear me and everything looks okay-ish? Kinda don't mind me, this is actually mostly a test stream. Um, I tweaked some settings in OBS, um, which seem to be doing better in terms of the load on my computer, so that's good. Um, I'm not sure what the quality of the gameplay is going to look like um, once I actually start going, but that's what I'm trying to check check out. So um, I'm also still trying to refine this this backup setup for for streaming. Get down, baby. Um, my dog is here, and uh, it does look very low resolution. Hmm. Let me see how this looks on because that's one of the things I did. Week. Um, kind of wanted to get it to be lower resolution in a sense. Let's see how this looks. Oops. Right. Hmm. Hey, awesome. I like my Switch. I don't play it that often, but. So, low resolution, like. I'm not sure necessarily how bad that, that, that looks in terms of... When I move, I turn into blurry pixels. Oh, you know what? That may not actually be... Here. So that actually improved. Is that any better? Hey, Michelle. Yeah, you know, this is actually not really a stream. This is just, I'm mostly testing some settings out. And my theory was the, so I'm upstairs in my office where I don't normally stream. And uh, the Wi-Fi signal isn't too hot here. Um, oh, hey, Gary. Holy diver on 8-BitBoy. Awesome. So does that look any better uh, to you guys? Am I less pixelated? Um, I had the door to my office closed, and I think that was blocking some of the Wi-Fi signal. So I'm hoping that that improved things a little bit. I'm not, I am no longer dropping frames rapidly, and the signal strength seems to be green. So, I did dumb down the resolution on my stream, though, because I'm trying to put a little less load on the, on the computer. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully I'm not too loud, and I won't wake up my kid. Alright, well... Wi-Fi so you guys, most of the cities are, are, are um, well, maybe not most of the cities, but I know some cities, especially in like South Korea, are actually wired for, um, for Wi-Fi in a way that our cities are not. Cool. Oh, okay, thanks, Ice Pirate. This is mostly a test stream. Um, do I look any better, guys, in terms of pixelation and, and quality and whatnot? I'm just gonna go and see how this, how this looks. Um, so the other thing I'm doing is how it's gamers second adventure i'm doing this homebrew players challenge this is like month 11 it's almost over and so i'm mostly trying to do high sc this high score in this game i know my high score so far is about 150,000 something um at least historically other people have hit like over 800,000. um in order to do that you really need to be like basically do a no death run and be really good at it and i'm not quite there yet um so I'm still working on um, the game. I'm a little bit rusty. I had played this like six months ago or something to get that first high score, and, and I learned the game pretty well up, up to that point, but um, I don't have a lot of time to like <laughs> to improve on it too much. I'm trying to get back up to that, that, that uh, quality. And I, I don't think I'll be playing for too long, but I would be playing anyway. I was, I've been playing this on my, on my AVS downstairs, which is great. Um, but I figure I might as well play with an audience and test out this, this setup for tomorrow night. So, all right, looks like I'm not dropping frames anymore, so at least um, opening the door seems to have helped that. Um, and, uh, hopefully my son won't wake up. All right, so in order to do this, I know some of you guys have seen me play this game before, or you may have seen other people playing the game. Um, thanks, thanks, Ice Pirate. 
Oh, cool. Oh, you've got orchestra. Awesome. Good night, Michelle. Um, also, hi, Allison. I don't think I specifically said hi, Allison. Um, right, so... Easy, normal, hard. Ace mode gets you the most points um, for killing enemies and for collecting gems and things, so that's what I've been trying to do. I'm just going to jump in, and I will probably die and keep restarting, so sorry, it probably won't be the most exciting thing to, to see. Just see, I'm a little bit rusty on that. But I really freaking love this game. It's a homebrew NES game. Uh, it was done as a fundraiser for the Khaled's Gamers uh, Children's... Um, fun? I forget what, what exactly it was for, but it was, it was really only sold at conventions and online. Um, and I got this copy from the immortal John Hancock, who happened to have an extra copy around. Whoops! Oh, crap. My controller is not as good as the one I've been using downstairs. That triggered a diagonal I was not expecting. I need to, I need to switch controllers. I can't compensate for that. So anyway, I freaking love this game, apparently. Um, so if you want to get this game, it's not really available on cartridge anymore, but apparently they're prepping a ROM release. Um, so you should be able to buy it and, and emulate it at some point. And I highly suggest that you do so. And I may actually buy it again in ROM format just so that I can like load it on my EverDrive and always have it. I will just get through this level and then I'll, I'll catch up with the chat in a second. <laughs> Magnus, how are you? Yeah, the music in this in this game is fantastic. Everything about this game is fantastic, actually. I'm sorry I'm streaming on such a crappy system right now. Not seeing a dif difference? Oh, okay. Alright. Single strength looks strong, and I definitely have a lower load on the CPU. I switched up my frame rate, my frame rate a little bit. I think that might help. No. Geo Mini. You know, I kind of wanted the Neo Geo Mini, and I might still get one, but I've seen some mixed reviews about it. I also don't really really need all those those brawler games. All street fighting games on there. I just heard a lot of mixed things about it. It's like not, not battery powered, and quality isn't so great. But, you know, it's better than the Neo Geo I already have, which is none at all, so... So, now I know that people have already posted like a full playthrough of this game. Um, I think there's even like a speedrun or something of it. Um, so there's, basically each level has these hidden gems which you trigger by touching a certain point, like that. And someone has figured out where all of them are. I am not looking to, f I have not looked up that information. I'm just trying to, I'm just finding the ones that I, I can find myself. up here sometimes give me some trouble. Another direction too? Yes. That, that's always been a tricky spot for me. And if you collect like nine gems, then you end up in a special area where you can just collect gold. Very nice.
game. The graphics were designed by MT, who is absolutely amazing. Pause on this controller. Using my um, issue zipper controller, which is usually pretty good. Should could hang out. Two kid birthday parties back to back. Good night, Ice Pirate. Thanks for popping in. Get some rest. Cool. Everything look okay to you guys. There's not really a lot of scrolling in this game, so I can't really tell how that looks any different. But um, I'll check the stream quality later and see. Funny thing is, I may actually be installing. A, I have installed a CRT. CRT. I haven't installed a CRT up here. I'm installing a um, better computer up here. I'm trying to get working. I gave me his old um, gaming PC. So that may allow me to do some different types of What's going on here? Oops. Okay, I need to get a different controller. Bad. I didn't realize this controller was going to give me issues. But it's definitely causing problems. Oh. I'm going to have to go switch controllers. Oh, but if I switch controllers, I might mess up the game. Alright, we'll see how far I can get. Hey, I made it to the gem room. Which isn't too bad. Looks okay, strength looks alright, blah blah blah. Alright, I'm just gonna keep playing then, see how I do. In chamber A. Bested my previous high score for this run. Is the chat not running? People just don't chat. I'm also checking to see if this the chat starts working again the way that it's supposed to. Um, I, my theory is that I had so much load on OBS and the CPU that the chat widget was getting busted for some reason. I don't know. I've got all sorts of weird theories. Great. Cool. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, most people are watching uh, Captain Algebra, which again is fine. I'm just mostly it test stream and I want to play this game anyway and it's cool to get to hang out with you. Doing slightly better on this run than I was expecting to. That's not. When is your trip to the States, Adam. I'm, I'm excited. I wish, I wish we were close enough that I could meet up with you. Here we go. This thing. This. Oh, yeah. Okay.
Ah. Oops. Oh no! Ah. Crap. Alright, let me take a picture of this though. That is definitely. Oh, I don't have the. Um... I need to make a note of this. Hmm. Lord, 12 hours, my goodness. Wow. Two weeks, that's awesome. Yeah, you don't get to spend enough time with your stateside family, so I'm really glad that you get to, to head out here. Northern California, though, that's pretty far for me. Why can't I not get this stupid pen out of here? Okay. All right, so uh, that was a stupid death. I could have gotten farther, actually. This is actually my high score, like, ever, so that's great. All right, I need to take a picture with the... Hi, Benny. You hear my dog breathing? Hi. Okay. Oh, your nephew. Oh, in real life. You haven't met him before. That's fantastic. Sure. What? Are you guys are you gonna get to do some streams while you're while you're over here? Just watching you guys. Gonna turn on this light for a second, sorry guys. Just need to get a good screenshot of this. Yes, to this week because your other brother's getting married. Wow. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, that's very exciting. I hope you have a great trip. I'm missing you online. Cool. All right. I guess maybe I'll make another run. I'm doing it. Four seven three nine. I don't think I'm going to do as well on this run as I did on that. No continues in ace mode. I've also discovered that the RF switch on this uh, uploader is terrible. Who are you talking to, Ren? Excited about what? Hmm. Overload mode, hurricane tracking, directing a play. Oh, that's cool. Right, the play. Awesome. Pika Bruise, how are you? Have you guys, you guys have played this one, right? I'm a little behind your, on your videos. Stuck in Korea, Adam. It would be awesome if you watched me play a game while you're in Korea. Although tomorrow night I'm playing uh, George Foreman's KO boxing, um, but then also a bonus stream. Hey, HM Nasty, how are you? All right, I'm gonna make another run. I'm just trying to get a high score in this game. I actually did just get my high score. Um, I feel pretty good about about that. Oh, I meant to swap for a better controller, didn't I? All right, I'll just do, do what I can with this. I think I might, I might just be too sensitive. I might just. No, I'll just, I'll just muddle through. But I should probably switch controllers for tomorrow. Ah, okay, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll go get a different controller. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go get a different controller. This is not working for me so well. One second, guys.
Oh, you guys couldn't hear me. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying I decided to go full on old school with the dog bone controller. Um, since I'm running on a top loader anyway. And uh, I used to really like the dog bone, but the A and B buttons are a little weird. But this doesn't have a lot of A and B action, so it should be okay. It does have a good D-pad though. Oh, getting used to the, the buttons are definitely different. Maybe this was a mistake. going on? Actually, maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe I'm the problem here, because the D-pad's doing the same thing that the other controller was doing. Maybe these D-pads are just more sensitive than the, um, than the Hudson Soft Joy card that I normally would be using. Hmm. I guess I hear my dog drinking water. It's very thirsty. Oh, so Peekaboo, if you're still there, um, if you haven't played this game, if you don't own this game yet, uh, my understanding is they're planning to release a ROM version of it soon. And I encourage everyone to get a copy of it, because it is, it is actually probably one of my favorite NES games at this point. Um, I need to play. I want to play more of it. I, it's, one, it's a game I'd really love to just master and get really, really good at it. I know these earlier stages look pretty well now because I've been trying for high scores and learning them, but there are a lot of levels. The game gets really, really challenging later on. Just got everything really good graphics, really great gameplay, tight controls, fantastic music. Has anyone ever used the NES Max? Yeah, I have the NES Max. I have never... I, I like it in theory, but it's not really comfortable to use. Um, I modded one recently, in the last year. I have a thumbstick from a, an Xbox controller. Actually makes it a little bit more useful, um, but I just tend to really prefer D-pads even on games that could benefit from the deck. Yeah, the Max, again, just is, looks looks good in theory. Now, the virtual USB wireless controller that I use, that I also really like, um, the one with those clicky buttons that you guys hear in my streams, that kind of looks like an NES Max. So it has the same form factor, but I think it's a much better controller. Um, the problem with the NES Max is both the um, the disc is tricky to use, or that ring is tricky to use to control, and those A and B buttons are actually sort of painful. Um, mine like squeak a little bit actually. Um, those buttons are like really hard buttons to push. And they should not be that hard. But I've got like two of them, I think. One is normal, and the other one I modded. But it's a reversible mod, I could just very easily restore it back to stock. Me too. I thought it was broken. Yeah, the, sl the ring is, is weird. It's an interesting idea, I just don't really know who, who it's for. Like, who, I don't know anybody who actually really likes the NES Max. Oh wait, what am I doing? Oh god, no, get out of here. Ah! I totally spaced out there for a second. Try that again. Sometimes I can kind of zone out with this. But that was not one of those moments. I prefer streaming downstairs with my other CRT. I kind of like this, this setup up here. 
bad. Weaker Wi-Fi signal, of course. Like my desk chair better. See if I can get this gaming PC to work. I don't have access to as many of my consoles up here. I have to bring them up basically and, and plug them in individually. Um, and do some like rewiring and stuff, which isn't ideal. I have to bring my Raspberry Pi up though. Good to have it for the collection, for sure. I have, I have a problem. Uh, I, I really like controllers, NES controllers especially. I have a bunch of different ones. Um, and I don't really use that many of them. I even, have an, I even have a Famicom controller that I basically swap the innards with an NES controller so I can use it on an NES. But, like, I have that Bichu zipper, which I just discarded. But I think I think the problem is actually me. I don't think it's the zipper having problems with the d-pad for some reason. I think I'm playing on a weird angle up here. I'm not even sitting properly. Major kudos to the people who have mastered this game so well that they've been able to do like a no death run all the way to the end of the game. They challenging game. I think I've said it before um, on streams, but since I started following a bunch of YouTube streamers and since I've been streaming myself, I've realized I'm not actually, I'm not actually that good at game, gamer. Um, I think I stick with things and I eventually learn them pretty well, but I don't think I have any natural ability at platformers. Or maybe if I do have any natural ability at gaming, it is in platformers. But it's not enough to make me a superior player or anything. Bill Twerpin, how are ya? Thanks for popping in, dude. 12 a.m. What what time zone are you in? It's 12 a.m. here. Happy birthday. Who said that about wanting to see Callets? Oh, oh, Nicole, hi. Have you not seen this before? I streamed it a, a while ago. Um, I love this game. I, be I beat it um, using lots of continues um, on normal mode on a, on a chat on, a, on one of my streams, uh, which you can Google for it if you want to see the whole game through. Um, I've been doing a homebrew players challenge, though, to get a high score. And uh, this is my second attempt to get... I did that for the Kellett's Gamers... Um, there was a, a challenge for the Kalitz Gamers like release that there was like a card in there to take a picture of your high score and you could maybe win a prize, uh, which was a postcard from MT, the guy who designed the, did all the artwork for it. Um, and now this is like another challenge contest. Uh, so I'm trying to get another high score again for that, which I just did, but I blame people on it. Just a matter of time practice. But this game is phenomenal. I love it. Um, I mentioned a couple times already that you can get a... You'll probably be able to buy a ROM of it at some point soon. And I would definitely recommend that you get this game however you can. I love that they're going to make it more available because... I think it's sort of criminal that there are these really terrific homebrew games um, like this and like... Starkeeper um, that people just aren't able to play because it was like limited release and they aren't ever going to make them anymore. And I assume it's hard to dump. Uh, I'm going to mess up over there again. Or you don't really want to dump it. But if they're selling a ROM that people can access, then wonderful. Play the game however you, however you can. The so, mouse. Oh, oh. Okay, that was a mistake. All right, Black Friday can't come soon enough. It's pretty soon. Hey, yeah, like I said, I might try to get a try to get a Game Boy. Never drive this year. This is kind of hard, guys, because I sort of 
I, I, I love that I'm streaming this and get to hang out with you guys. And I love playing on original consoles and whatnot. But I kind of just want to go play this on my AVS and be done with it. <laughs> it looked really good in HD. Actually, it looks fine on a CRT as well. But I'm playing on a much smaller screen right now. This is like a 9 inch CRT. And it's kind of all about the same, really. I've played this on my front loader, Blister NES. Played it on my top loader right now. Played it on the Retro USB AVS. I'm putting this cartridge through its paces. Oh, what? All right, that was that was bad. Very bad. Oh, good night, Allison. Popping in. Oh, John, I'm so sorry. Uh, we, we lost dog a few. Years. It was really hard. <laughs> You're in, am I in AVS drool zone yet? Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm trying to get my my wireless controller to work on it. Um, I have a lot of interference in the living room. My AVS is basically sitting right next to my router, Wi-Fi router, and it's picking up a lot of interference from that. So, but I love having the wireless controller, and it's actually I had a an extension cord, and it's because the dog would run around and it might like, trip over it and almost pulled my Retron 5 off the, off the speaker when I had that running once. Um, so my new idea is I've, I've attached a Nintendo Force cord to the AVS, which is actually one of the cool things about the AVS over, say, the analog and Team Mini that the controller ports are spaced exactly the same as a, as a stock, like original Nintendo. So you can use a peripheral like the NES 4 score. I couldn't use the 4 score on the Retron 5, I couldn't use it, I can't use it on like any clone console because they don't have the same types of ports, but the AVS meticulously recreated that, the, that feature. You don't need it because it already has 4 controller ports. But I've traditionally used my 4 score kind of just as an extension cord in the past. I can use that, use it again as a third party extension cord. And uh, right now I have, I, I tried this, I haven't tested it extensively yet, but I have the uh, 4 score plugged in. I'm gonna wait for I have that 4 score plugged in and I have the wireless dongle for the retro USB wireless gamepad plugged in. What is going on with this D-pad? patterns at me. Um, and I've extended the reach, like I've moved the dongle farther away from the router. I'll see if that does any interference. I'm having trouble with this deep head. Hey Solid Nate. Is this for real? <laughs> That's funny. It's kind of a test stream, but also it's a test stream, and I'm trying to get a high score, and just kind of hanging out with you guys. Because I would be doing this myself downstairs while I fall asleep. Which will probably not be too long for now, I have not done enough of this. But it looks like the chat's keeping up, so that's promising. It's true. I'll have to just check to see how the quality looks later on, but I think my new settings have dumbed things down a bit, it might be better because they're putting less load on my CPU. It's really not designed to, to stream anyway, it's running this on an Ultrabook. Um, it's probably a miracle that it works at all. But anyway, I'm hoping to get the, the wireless controller to work again in the living room. Then I'll be even happier to use the AVS. Be one less, less impediment. I have to say, if anybody is on the fence about getting an ABS and you actually have like the money, like don't don't hesitate. Well, hesitate a little bit because he's not going to ship until like mid October. But it's it's really good. I, I feel bad that I've waited this long. I should have gotten it a long time ago. I just got a little bit of money. I feel justified toward 
using for stuff like that. The more I got back into retro gaming, the less I liked my Retron 5. The whole emulation thing. The lag. Just on the chat here. Am I using the Retron 5 currently? No. Right now, you mean? Right now, I am using the my top loader NES, which is why the quality looks pretty crappy. Um, I have never streamed with my Retron 5. I was using the Retron 5 to play on my HD TV, but I just retired it. I'm, I mostly play NES games anyway, so it's not really super helpful to have um, all those other systems. Uh, so I just got the retro USB AVS and I'm playing NES games on that, and it actually loads better. Who knew? Um, like, if I play Super NES games, I'm just gonna play them on my, um, Super NES Classic Edition. Which, yeah, I know it's an emulator, but it's fine. I don't really have a huge card collection. And if I play Genesis, I don't actually own that many Genesis cartridges, so I probably would just use my Raspberry Pi. Or I might get like a clone console or something. My wife is more the Genesis person. She doesn't even have that many games. This game has like nine music tracks, I think. You can listen to them in the like a music mode screen. They're all really good tracks. The game is just like the whole package is amazing. Really glad I have it. Did I say I'm using the top loader? I am I am using the top loader. Yes. My cheap option for playing 8-bit NES games is the Gamers Tech 8-bit boy. Yes, that's true. Um I I have that. I use it a lot for in portable mode, and I was using it. I was thinking about using it for HD stuff, but uh the colors are off. It's the music is a little bit off. And I didn't really, it's not, it's not really very convenient to have it as just a, like a console. And to swap between console and portable mode is kind of annoying. Um, so I, I liked gaming on it enough in HD that I decided that helped me kind of decide to get the retro use AVS as well. Because, like if I actually coming up with a way to set this up on my TV and thinking about using it instead of the Retron 5, then maybe I should just get like a proper, like a, a better, um, HD option. But I like the Gamers Tech. Um, I don't know if you saw saw my review of it, but I think it's pretty great. It's not compatible with everything, um, but it has a purpose. It serves a purpose. I, I do use it quite a bit, especially when I'm on like vacation. Be able to take a you know, NES game, have a multi cart for it. It doesn't use, you can't use uh, EverDrive with it. But you can use like a cheap Chinese multi-cart, and it's fine to use that because it's not really gonna hurt. The I don't know if it would hurt the AVS, but I do have an EverDrive, so I probably wouldn't ever really do that. The other thing I want to do with my AVS is I want to use it to capture HD footage of some retro games. Uh, uh, retro games, some uh, homebrew games. At some point I'd like to do a series on homebrew games. Uh, not quite the way that the Peak Brews guys are doing it. But I've been thinking about doing it sort of more like a Jeremy Parrish kind of NES Works kind of approach. Kind of tracing some of the history of the games and showing a lot of footage and I'd love to do a full run. 
I have to play the game and, and learn it, but I want to do a full run of um, Starkeeper because the only way people are going to see it is if they watch a video. No, that's not, that's not anything like that at all. The Retro USB AVS is a uh, NES clone console. It's uh, FPGA based, uh, field programmable gate array. So it's one of those um, sort of hardware simulation options for the NES, which the chips are basically programmed to function exactly the way an NES functions. Um, so the two NES FPGAs that are available are the Retro USB AVS, which is $185 plus shipping. And the NT Mini, which is actually technically isn't available, but the analog NT Mini, which is uh, $500, $450, something like that, depending on what color you get. Um, now, admittedly, the analog option has more features than the AVS does. You can output in 1080p, the AVS only outputs in 720p. Um, but I decided that that didn't really matter to me. My HDTV actually does natively support 720p at the moment. And if you get a 4K TV, that's like a multiple of 9 or something, so 720p should scale fine and probably have to use like minimal lag. So it's probably, you know, not that much of a concern. And the AVS, I mean, the, the analog NT, even if I could afford it and just, could justify spending that much money on it, um, just had way more features than I needed. Uh, one of the great things about it is you can actually um, reprogram that chipset on the fly using um, homebrew, um, well, not really homebrew, but custom um, code to emulate other systems. You could play Atari on it and, oh gosh, right? Um, but I don't really care about most other systems, honestly. So I decided the AVS was all I needed, and uh, it's called the AVS because it's sort of inspired by the, the early prototype of the Nintendo Entertainment System called the Advanced Video System. The design is a little bit like a mix of that console and what the NES ended up being. Hey, 1980. So that may have been too much information. Um, just rambled on about the, the AVS, but. I've watched a lot of videos and read up a lot on it, and I've really been, you know, struggling with making the leap um, for about a year or so. I kept saying, like, oh, the Retro 5 is fine for what I need, I have you know, all these other ways to play the NES. But the fact of the matter is, if I had waited a little longer, I bought the Retro 5 at launch. I had no other way to play the games. HD, and I hadn't gotten deep enough in the retro community to know that there were other options like doing RGB mods or whatever. But if the ABS had been available at the time, I would have just gotten that. I never would have gotten Retro 5, especially once I read up on, you know, emulation issues. So I've just rectified an earlier mistake. I still have my Retro 5, and I might, I'll probably keep it. Although I debated, debated selling it. You know, Analog says that they're not going to. I bet they will at some point. They haven't discontinued the Anti-Mini. They just say it's out of stock, but they also say they don't have any plans to make any new ones. But they're doing, they're going to do something. Too much demand for it. I noticed the other day that you can buy, um, that somebody bought. In, in a mini on eBay for like two hundred dollars, which is weird. But I, I think they'll they'll come up with something. But I'm not willing to wait any longer. And I also the AVS feels right to me. It feels more in tune with the NES, if that makes sense. And Brian Parker. Um, aka Bunny Boy, the guy who made it, like, is really clearly, um, you know, into the authenticity of the NES and recreating that experience and 
a lot of effort into it. I kind of like supporting him. Done a lot for the homebrew community. Kind of was the homebrew community for a while. Ooh, bad idea. Doing. So I, I don't mind my money going to him instead of some like company, larger company, I guess. And there's always still the option to get the anti mini at some point if it's come out again. Yeah, exactly, Ryan. I was thinking about doing the high def mod on my top loader as well, because the top loader, I, I thought, I would never play. Um, it's RF, and this is jail bars and everything, and yet here I am playing my, my top loader. Out of convenience, really, but kind of cool that I'm getting some use out of it. Um, I thought about modding it for EV output or, or whatever. But I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Yeah, Gary almost broke his top loader. Well, Gary... I watched his video, and I think that Gary said that the top loader that he modded was probably broken before he got started. Um, just never tested it. He didn't even know if it worked. And um, so he went through a lot of extra heartbreak because of that. Um, and I, I kind of... I kind of cut him some... Kind of made... Poked some fun at him for that too, but... He, he takes it all in good stride. It's definitely worth watching his video. Um, and, you know, I've still got the top loader, and I can still mod it at some point. I don't really think... It, the, the, the high def mod is also more than I needed, honestly. Um, and for the amount of money, that was a thing, and you probably went through the same, same thing Renaissance. Um, the amount of money that you spend on doing the mod, both buying the part and then also... Um, Sending it off to somebody to, to mod it for you, it costs the same as the AVS. And you get the same, essentially the same result. So I figure I might as well just have a brand new piece of, of uh, hardware that you know, hopefully will last a little bit longer. I mean, anything on that top loader NES could fail at some point. I know you can replace the capacitors and things like that, but it's still like a ancient piece of technology. Um, my top loader, I actually bought at this little sort of gift shop in my mom's uh, neighborhood when I was coming to visit Bay when I was um, in college, and I didn't even know the top loader existed until I saw this thing. I was like, what is that? Um, and I, I had them tested to make sure that it worked. I bought it immediately. It was like 35 bucks with the controller. So, you know, now it runs for like, what, 75 or 80 or something like that. For the longest time, I had it just to have it, and um, I used it a lot because I thought it was more reliable than a front loader, which it is. But uh, then I saw that the jail bars on my HDTV, and I couldn't deal with it. And um, what are you doing? Same thing again. That's a higher score, though. Hold on a second. Break it down on emulation ROMs. Yep. Yep. Sure. Yeah, it was a really nice find. Um, it's kind of nice to just have it in my collection. I thought about getting an AV Famicom from Japan. It has its own castle. Uh, yeah, definitely, you know, talking to Renaissance about how excited I was to get the AVS, which was really stupid, because I had so many ways to play Nintendo, so I'm like, I'm like waiting around for... 
better picture, right? I actually really do like playing on CRTs. But, um, for various reasons, uh, playing on my setup down in the basement isn't, isn't really convenient at the moment. Um, my wife isn't around very much right now. With some programs that she's involved with, and, um, I'm down in the basement late at night playing a game. My son can't, can't find me. He freaks out. And my dog, I, we don't allow the dog in the basement. We try to keep it um, pet free for guests. So he can't hang out with me either. So I wanted to play more in the living room. So that's why I got the AVS. One of the reasons I got the AVS. Play up there more often. And now I've got this set up in my office. Stream NES games. So that I can still stream maybe. Oh, my son freaking out if I'm can't find me. If I have interruptions and that. So I've got so many ways to play I know this house it's kind of starting to get on the borderline of it's probably past the borderline of ridiculous, but my wife is very supportive. Plus I have that portable one. Oh man, so you go through the blinking light win? Oh yeah, so I was going to say the, um, the front loader NES is actually just as reliable as a top loader if it's been properly been cleaned. Or if you've got the blinking light win. I never really liked the blinking light win. I never wanted to try for the blinking light win because I heard that it was... I actually liked the mechanism on the original NES, like the zero insertion force thing and pushing down the cartridges and whatnot, which you can't do with it. I heard that the cartridge slot was too tight. But uh, I, I did the boiling thing on my pin connector, and it works like a charm. Like, most games work the first time as long as the games are clean. So, there goes the main reason I used a top loader. Glad to see you doing well. of this I can do because I need to get some sleep tonight. Tomorrow night is George Foreman's KO Boxing plus an extra game. I'll not reveal in advance. Renaissance is playing something. The, the, what's the clue for this Big's game I saw it a little while ago and it's very intriguing. But tomorrow night I think I'm gonna stream a little bit later than usual. I'm gonna start at 10 30. Gives me a better chance of getting my son to bed in time. And I'll I still end at 11 30, so it's still gonna be about an hour, but I don't have any extra time to play. I if I if I get to bed earlier then I'll start earlier, I guess. And see how that works, and then if that doesn't work, schedule, then I will try streaming at 9 o'clock, and it will just be up with me. God. No. No. I almost messed up there. They threw their NES away because it quit working. Oh my god. It's terrible. 9 to 12... Oh, you're making a little break for- you're doing an art project, that's cool. I- I've taken art classes. Oh, good night, John. Sorry I missed that. Um... You're gonna miss my stream tomorrow, back to school night. Oh, okay. Cool, well, I'll be happy to see- see if you can join in, but I totally understand it. As long as I don't miss it. <laughs> I'm trying- I'm really trying hard to not miss my streams or cancel them or- Schedule them or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I love, I love uh, Luke and Shannon joining. Those costumes were amazing, by the way.
<laughs> that was close. This one, if you time the jump, if you time dropping down wrong, that thing will actually jump up and hit you while you're ducking. Mean. Oh, you got the concred. You got the concred. Being one of the hazards of con cons. I love that these guys just annihilate themselves by like walking out of the level. Or trying to walk out of the level. Maybe it's like they're in a holodeck and they're trying to they're trying to leave and they can't. Here. These guys just march through the this is like lemmings. Back to school. Wait, I'm gonna go over here. Oh, this thing, I'm gonna die, aren't I? duck here. Oh, come on. Dang it. Alright, I gotta try this. I gotta do it. Stupid mistake. Haha, <laughs> Dex. than I was last night. I don't know if it's been arrested or because I have you guys to keep me going, keep me awake, or because I'm playing on original hardware. I don't know what the issue is, but I got a nicer score. I've got a few more days yet. The contest ends on Friday, so I've got a few more days to get that a little bit better. guys at the same time. Super interesting to watch. Playing the same levels over and over again. It kind of reminds you of Gizmo. And the main character here? Uh-oh. Actually, pretty cool. The, um... When you beat the game, you get different characters. They're just character skins. I think after this run, I'm gonna get to bed because I'm 
much of my luck. My son woke up last night around the same time when I was fed. Actually, I'm asleep. But I'll probably play more of this Thursday or Friday. Strive to improve my school. up this time, so I think whatever I change is, is better. OBS was using way too many resources before I tap the widget. Crap. Oh, you fell asleep. I napped in my son's room. <laughs> I put him to bed. Why I'm totally wakeful right now. Sod. Oh, good night, Sod. Thanks for popping in. My son wants me to go to bed like at the same time that he does because he's sleep in our room. He doesn't understand. I have like all this crap to do after he goes to bed. You know, it takes me like an hour to get his breakfast and lunch and everything ready. Um, especially because I'm like watching live two like live two streams at the same time. Um, and then that's like the only time I have to do like work or play a video game or whatever. Hey kid. Empathize with you. kid time yeah this is one of the reasons why I started streaming I needed I needed something that wasn't writing that's essentially a job not taking care of the house it's not taking care of the kid just just for fun and good it's been expensive because I've been buying lots of games and consoles and things but... all right so this one I get over there so this one you, you follow the uh, path here Thank you. 
That always gets me. All right, I think I'm gonna call it here tonight, guys. Or for the working on. I think I'm just gonna try to get some sleep. So good night, Pika Bruise and Chum Nasty and Nicole. Um, yeah, yeah. I think there's something psychological, I think, about wanting to reconnect with your childhood, maybe, too, and just kind of these, these old, simple games. And they, I think that retro games are perfect for the amount of time that we have to play video games these days. Night 1980. There's probably an essay in there somewhere at some point. All right, so thanks for hanging out in my impromptu test stream. hope it looked okay. I'm going to check the video later on. Um, hopefully I'll see some of you guys tomorrow night. It looks like I'm in good shape for this work and everything. So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, we should totally, should actually collaborate on something. Well, I've been wanting to put together a parenting podcast at some point, so maybe we can talk about that. Good night, Renaissance. See you guys tomorrow night. Have a good day. Good luck with um, back-to-school night, Nicole. Uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys. Yeah.